Now, I'm assuming that I don't know about recursive function. So what is recursion is a function controlling, uh, I mean, a function that calls itself. So I'm just going to type this code first of all in Notepad++ so that we can compare how does the insert function. Right, assuming that uh, we have an insert method, so I'm just going to say public void insert and it's recursive. So basically it takes a node and one and we're going to see how to implement the other things that we need. Now whatever we have in the stopping condition we will need to stop right so first of all you're going to say if insert node for example is equal to null you're just going to return something right so we're just going to return uh, maybe nothing from it right so After insert, uh, inserting the node, you will have something to do. So now we'll have to keep track of uh, what I call to be uh, the left side of it and the right side of it. But uh, later on, we'll see that. So first of all, you will need a node, which is uh, the parent of the, rep uh, of the insert one that you want to insert. And then I said we have a node, which is insert node, which is there. Now recursively you will have, so you will have to create a node and pass this on here and you will have to create uh, the parent insert etc. So whenever I reach a node insert node I will have to keep track of the parent insert node. So in this case it's going to be parent insert. Okay so parent insert dot Right, so you will have to make sure that if the key is less than the parent insert dot get key, right, and then you will have to set parent insert dot set left, and it's going to set the left as this. Otherwise, it's going to set the right. And it's just going to return. Now, I have a specific condition. For example, remember that I'm going to insert, it start with parent ins and ins node. So there will be a case where I actually uh, will reach the node. Right, for example, we, we can add a small condition. So I'm just going to do else if. Oh, yes, else if. So I'm just going to add a new piece of code over here. I'm just going to say that if, first of all, we have We have the parent ins. I'm going to show you how to fit it. So when the parent ins equal to equal to null, because we're going to start with the root. So if the root equal to null, right? If the root equal to equal to null, so just go ahead and hit up parent ins dot, or we say the root equal to the node and one. Now why I don't use this one? Because at the first beginning we can have ins node. But there may come a case where actually the ins node become null. Alright? And then we're just going to set the root as an one. But it will be very rarely that we have parent ins because uh, parent ins will never become null. Right? It will become ins node when it becomes nulls. We're going to reach the node leaf. Right? The node leaf of parent. Let me show you. Let's say at first we have a null and we have
parent ints equal to null and we have what I call to be the node ints okay now this is all the node equal to null where null is actually the root so I'm just going to paste it out the root so when I was just going to come to the code when it's going to see that uh, you know it's null uh, the parent ints uh, is null therefore it's going to assign it to the root when the binary search tree is actually empty now my question is why don't I assign it as a node ins it's just because when I'm going to go out of the loop here if I reach null for example here it's null so I reach null therefore it's going to say that go and just assign the root as the new node but in fact it's not empty so here I'm catering for the part so that if it is null we're doing this right and this is a stop condition that is when insert node is equal to null then assign the parent node now we'll have to cater for traversing the list so we just do key if the key of that node so if n1 dot you can do get key because you are going to create a node or you can just pass key here and uh, you can create the node inside but that will be useless so better you create the node and pass it here right a recursive function so as if n one dot get key you try to get the key out of it and uh, you have to compare it if it is less then you will have to move on the left side of the node so if the n one dot get key is less than okay is less than normally we should be doing something here when we actually enter the node let me think so actually when uh, actually I'm implementing it first time okay uh, by not looking at any codes or making reference material so I'm just doing it logically what will happen by programming it right so if the parent node is null then we are going to assign it else if uh, null just return it so stopping condition else you just do it right so normally uh, you will have to traverse the else the parent the return and uh, if this is null then do uh, do it otherwise at this part you will have to do ins node dot get left or right but we'll just do it here if the key I am on the recent node is less than ins node dot get key in this part what I'm going to do I'm just going to go to the left side of the tree so I'm just going to say ins node dot is equal to ins node dot get left of the subtree. I know it's rather confusing but it will become very really clear so in the recursion you need a stopping condition okay so we are working with the node which is going to recursively call uh, the function right and uh, when you do this you actually assign the parent node first of all so we just go ahead and do parent ins equal to the ins node and we're going to call recursively the function again so we're going to call insert rack the ins node and the parent ins but actually we have n1 as a node which we are passing so you need to pass n1 and uh, this should go over there now we can have uh, a null condition I think uh, we'll, we'll try to execute the code later on and uh, we have ins node which is a uh, insert node where we are passing so each time I'm going to go inside the parent ins where I am and I'm going to compare the ins node but it's not really the case you will have to uh, comment this part why I'm saying you to comment this part is 
Whenever I'm going to move to the left, they should be keeping track of the parent uh, node which is there. Right? So actually this part of the code should go upward. Where previously I am, I have to keep track of it. So at the first beginning it's going to be root root, so we don't have to worry. Right, so n1 parent insert and then insert node, which are recursively there. Right, as you do the contrary, you have to move to the right. Now, how are you going to call it in your BS app? BS the app. So you will have else here. We're going to see how to call actually these nodes in the BS the app. Right, so that's going to finish up with our function. So I repeat it again. It's a recursive call where you're creating a node, a parent node, and then a insert node. So first of all, we check uh, at the first beginning if the parent ins is a null. So we just insert a root null. Otherwise, it's never going to be null, but this one can be null and it's just going to insert it directly. Else, it's just going to either set it to the left or right. And then uh, we can get the key by going either to the left side of it, but by keeping the previous node of it over there. Right, so I'm just going to cut it. So remember, in the while uh, loop, it's always those had become the main condition uh, for insertion. Right, in fact, here, if ins node we are passing is null. In fact, uh, this should be equal to, equal to, sorry for that, guys. And uh, in fact, the key here you have to do node. Okay, if the n1.key, if n1.key, in fact, dot get key is less than that, then you can go to the left. In fact, I have inserted it down, but they have uh, mess up with it. Right, so here is the insertion, and whenever we reach uh, this node, is going to do it. Let's uh, try to put it inside the BSD app. So you have to create a node first of all. I think I have created a node somewhere here. So I'm just going to be a bit lazy and try to copy this code from here. Later on, I'm going to show you how to do the insert, but it, it will become rather clear in some minutes. So. So just put this one as N2, this one as N3. I, I don't, uh, there may be, there, there can be a bug because I'm just doing it live, uh, programming it for you. Right, so we have the different nodes. And now you have to call recursively these function, but you will have to get the root first from uh, the node. So you just go ahead and do B1 dot, insert recursively. And when you insert recursively, you have to pass inside it b1 dot. So it's a node, n1, which I'm going to insert. And uh, this one is going to be the root at the beginning. So you just say b1 dot get the root first. And again, here you're going to say b1 dot get the root. Right, and uh, up to this point. You just copy everything from here, paste it down. Now avoid uh, using duplicate keys when it comes to uh, BST. So it becomes rather, rather, rather very important. So just insert this node and don't insert this one, otherwise we give us error. So just comment this. So we are passing the root first of all and we are doing it recursively. Let's try it. Right, so we have actually two key inserted. I don't know why. Must be some error somewhere. Okay. 
Let me see the curl first. Where is the recursive insert? So if insert rack uh, node and one parent ins dot this. So you can just try to uh, put it this way. If root equal to equal to null, then uh, just do something about it. Otherwise, if ins uh, node equal to equal to null, then you use a parent ins each time. Now let's uh, execute it. Again, you have only two keys inserted. Right, so what's the problem? I'm getting the root from there and I'm printing the node. I'm inserting n1, n2, n3, and n4 from it. Right, there must be a condition which is here. And one dot get key less than ins node dot get key. Then parent ins is equal to insert node and insert node is equal to we go to the left and then we pass inside it parent ins and we pass inside it ins node. Else we just do parent ins is equal to ins node, ins node is equal to ins node dot get left. So we have a bug most probably from it. So this is where we have reached a null, right? When we actually reach a null from the ins node, then we just go and insert it. Otherwise, uh, we can uh, just go to the left by calling insert right and one parent ins and ins node. So we can either go to the left or the right, that depends. So if the key is less than the ins node get key, then we're going to go to the left of the subtree. Right, and uh, we're trying to debug it. Oh, yes, uh, so here is a right. Actually, we have set both of them at the left side. It's maybe because I have copied the code. So that should be get right. Now let's go and run the, the piece of code that we have over here. Pull me for this part. Otherwise, everything is all right. Uh, I have been able to implement it on my own. Right, so 323, 43, and 63. Actually, all these videos are actually part of my revision uh, for data structures and algorithm. So if it is being helpful to you, don't tag me, but actually thanks uh, for all the materials that actually are available on the net. And also, I would like to thank uh, LAFO, for, which is also a tutor of data structure, who is really helpful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.